what are your best tips for learning not to rely upon a script? I'll start with uh, Prissy for this question. I think the easiest way not to rely on a script is not to write one in the first place. If you haven't um, prepared in a way that means you have masses and massive of masses and masses of information on your screen, you won't be tempted to read off the screen. I think a lot of people, especially early on, I've been guilty of that. When I first started, over prepared a case. I think essentially by the time I'd finished preparing, had more notes than the entire bundle because I was so nervous about wanting to make all of these very clever points. But you need to learn how to boil them down into the headlines and once you have those down in a few bullet points it becomes easier to convey what you're saying to the judge take into account what you've already heard from Alice about adaptability and Jamie about being receptive to what the judge actually wants from you it means you're going to deliver a better speech um, better cross-examination and overall better advocacy because you're not reading from a piece of paper because that's what you think the judge wants to hear or what you're trying to get out of a witness. You're actually listening and responding accordingly. Thank you. Great advice. And uh, Callum, how about yourself? Have you ever relied upon a script? I'll say I have, John, to be perfectly frank. Yeah. Uh, I find the best way to... to to deal with something is I try and disseminate my case down into one page of shorthand notes, as, to, as, as pretty said, the, the headlines. Uh, once you get into the realm of writing that, because uh, writing detailed notes, for example, you get lost in your own uh, information. I had a friend who used to write out every single question that she would ever put to a witness. And I just used to sit, we were flatmates. I used to sit, sit there and think to myself, my God, how have you got this much time? <laughs> you need to sit there and write down every single question. And it'd be a four-page witness statement and it'd be about 10 pages of questions. And I'd just sit there going, how have you got 10 pages of questions from a four-page witness statement? What's that all about? But, um, and you can, it, it, it comes across as well to a judge that if they take you away from that script, and ask you a question that perhaps doesn't fall in line with what you think you should be dealing with in respect of what you've got on your piece of paper, um, you're not really going to be able to answer the question because the last you about a particular part of the bundle, as Jamie says, if you've not read it, you know, you're know you not going to know what's on that particular page. Uh, but the last you about a particular part of the bundle, and because it's not there in your, or you can't find it in your pages and pages of notes, you're just going to be caught on the spot and look like a tool. Uh, and that that kind of draws you into mistakes as well, actually. But yeah, um, brevity is is the is the soul of all wit, I find. 